Hey guys, so as you can tell, I am in a completely different setting than I usually am. This is my very first time recording a video in my apartment, so I hope you like it, what you can see of it anyways. So this is part two of my book haul, as you can probably tell by the title. These are all the books that I bought in 2016 that I had here at my apartment. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'll go ahead and link it in the description below. And then, um, yeah, so let's get started. Just like the last video, I'll do the books that I've read first and then the books that I haven't, um, but I still bought. I bought so many books. And I promise you I'm not letting, like, this is not all of them, but <laughs> can't possibly remember all of the books that I bought in 2016. So, the first book I'm going to be talking about is The Heartbreakers by Ali Novak. I bought this book before, but um, since it's a series, I wanted to have like the whole series in paperback because I'm weird like that. So yeah, I bought it again. So I have two versions of this book, one on Kindle and one on one in paperback. Um, super excited for the rest of the series, by the way. Anyway, so in case you've never heard of this book, this book is about Stella. She doesn't like the Heartbreakers, who is the current like hot boy band, but her sister loves them. So she waits in line three hours to get a signed CD by them, only to be turned away. But before the CD signing, she met a really cute boy who happened to look a lot like the lead singer, Oliver Perry. That's probably because he is. And even though she insulted his music to his face, he still gave her her number. But how can Stella even think about hanging out with the band, pulling pranks, and having a good time when her sister is dying of cancer? This book was so good. I have two copies of it, obviously. Um, so I definitely give it two thumbs up. Thanks, Allie, for signing my book. Twice. So next I have the book, Me Before You, by Jojo Moyes? Jojo Moyes? I know I messed up her name. So I picked up this book because it's, I saw the trailer for the movie and I was like, I can't go see a movie based on a book without reading the actual book. So I ordered it the second I saw the trailer. And yeah, I read it before I saw the movie. And I loved the movie, by the way. <laughs> the book is about a girl. Her name is Louisa Clark. And she is in desperate need of a job. So she ends up getting one as a caregiver, even though she doesn't have any experience in the area whatsoever. But she ends up being a caregiver for Will Trainer, a quadriplegic who is bound to his wheelchair. And who doesn't have the brightest disposition. When Louisa learns that Will has a shocking set of plans for his future, she sets out to show him that life is worth living. This book was so good. I was hooked from the second I started it. I finished the whole thing in one afternoon. Um, definitely two thumbs up for me. Uh, thank you, Jojo, for bringing these people into my life. So the final red book I have from this year is The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. So, in case you've never heard of this book, this book was written nearly 45 years ago, and it's still one of the best books that I read in 2016. I read it like three times. So, a brief synopsis in case you've never heard of it or seen the movie. This book is about a boy named Pony Boy and his two brothers, Daryl and Soda Pop. Um, when I first read those names, I was like, is this actually a popular book, though? Pony Boy? But I got past the name choice, promise. So this book kind of follows Pony Boy's life in which there are two major gangs, the Socks and the Greasers. Pony Boy and his brothers are Greasers. And um, Pony Boy knows that he can always count on his friends to always have his back for anything until one day things are taken a little bit too far. As I mentioned, I loved The Outsiders, loved everything about it. Did not love the movie. I could have probably gone my whole life without seeing it, but then I went back and reread the book and it was fine. So, two thumbs up for me. 
So that's it for my red books of 2016. And so now I'm going to go ahead and go on to my unread books. So the first unread book that I have is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two. It is a screenplay that is written um, in, who's, what is his name? So basically, as I said, I haven't read this book. I've heard so many reviews on it, but I'd like to make my own review. I haven't actually sat down and read it yet because it's a screenplay and that turns me off. But I am going to read it. Like, I'm really interested. So basically, this follows Harry's life like 19 years later and it follows his son Albus's life and kind of like where everything left off. Um, yeah, as I said, I've heard all the mixed reviews on it, most of them not so good, but I still want to give it my own review, like give it a shot. So the next book that I have is called Breathing Underwater. It's by Alex Flynn. So I basically bought this book on Amazon, book searching, story of my life, and it really caught my eye because it is so different than what is out there in the YA world right now. So basically, this is about Nick Andreas, Nick Andreas, I think it's Andreas, and um, how he has such a seemingly perfect life. But the only person who knows differently is his ex-girlfriend, Caitlin. So when Nick has to attend court-ordered, like, mandatory anger management classes, he starts to realize how far from perfect his life really is. So the next book I have is called... All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, and it basically follows the story of a guy named Finch and a girl named Violet. They basically meet on the top of a bell tower at school, and it's unclear as to who saves whom. But they set out to discover the world together and to hopefully find some meaning. So this book is called Touch Me Not. It's by April Baker, who is also on Wattpad. Uh, this book used to be on Wattpad, but I unfortunately didn't get the chance to read it when it still was. But I was so excited when um, I finally saw it was out on paperback, and so I went ahead and bought it. This follows the story of Lily and Nikolai. So Lily hates being touched. Um, she doesn't really enjoy human contact, and Nikolai wants to change that. Well, I'm not sure if he wants to change it, but he kind of makes Lily his next conquest. And so they make a bet and see who can win it out. I'd also like to thank April Baker for signing my book. It really means a lot. Thank you. So the next book I have is called Wild Roses by Deb Coletti. And to be honest, I saw this book in a used bookstore and I bought it literally for the cover. Like this cover is gorgeous. So basically this follows the life of a girl named Cassie who lives with her unpredictable fa stepfather, Dino. She has eyes for Ian who is her father's first ever student and a, like, prodigy on the violin. And the second she lays eyes on him, she knows he's doomed. So the next book I have is called Until Friday Night by Abby Glines. Um, I saw this book in Barnes & Noble, and I picked it up the same time as I did um, The Boy Most Likely To by Hunter Fitz Huntley Fitzpatrick. Sorry. The title caught my attention the cover and then once I read the description I was like sold. So this follows the story of a guy named West Ashby who is like the town's football god and everyone who knows him knows him as that. He's popular, he's charming, he's everything but what they don't know is he's grief stricken because he's been watching his father slowly die of cancer for the past year and so one day he just breaks. Then enter Maggie Carlton. Two years ago, she watched her father murder her mother, and after she told the police what happened, she never spoke again. So when West Ashby finally breaks, he tells Maggie everything, because he knows she's the one person who won't tell anything. And isn't he surprised when she talks back? Next, I have Beastly by Alex Flynn. I have already bought a book by her, and now I didn't realize they were by the same author. But I saw this movie. Okay, you can see now a major motion picture. I saw the movie, I didn't know it was a book, and so when I saw this book in the used bookstore, I was like, sold, I like have to read the book because I already saw the movie. So this book follows Kyle Kingsbury, the guy you wish you were, the guy everybody wants to be, until he is 
placed under the spell of a witch in his English class, which turns him beastly. So next I have It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. And this book follows the life of a guy named Craig. Craig finishes his high school diploma at a pre-professional high school. But when the stress finally gets to him, he stops eating, he stops sleeping, and then one day tries to kill himself. So he enters a rehab program in which he can finally confront the source of his anxiety. So the next book I have is Daring Greatly by Brené Brown. And this book was given to me by someone that I really and truly appreciate and her name is Natalie and she was my very first therapist. She unfortunately moved away to Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Why do I say that with an accent? Wisconsin. But before she moved she gave me this book um, and I will admit that I haven't read it yet. It's not because I don't want to. It's because um, it's a very real book and I have to like come to terms with myself before I can tackle a book like this. So basically, Brene Brown talks about how we live in a world dominated by never enough. You never feel like you're enough. And she tackles that topic and breaks it down. Daring Greatly is a practice and a powerful new vision that about letting ourselves be seen. And last but certainly not least, I have Gilded Cage by Vic James. Um, I received an advanced copy of this and I am so grateful. Um, I will admit that I haven't read it yet, but thought it's just because I have so many books to get through but I am really excited to read this book. This book is set in a fantasy world and it's where we all belong to what are called equals but one girl is set to change that. So that is it for my book haul. Um, I did buy some Kindle books this year but I am going to tackle those in a different video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my book haul. Um, comment, let me know like if you've read any of them, if any of them sounded interesting to you. Um, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Eyelash. Oh, I didn't organize these again. So many books I haven't read. Oh my god. And I just ordered like eight more at least. It's a real problem. Alright. That's the end. It was written in... It's embarrassing that I say that and then I don't know. <laughs> but I haven't actually sat down and read it for... <laughs> always oh, goes me back. Why don't I ever use this thing? They basically meet on the top of like, I think it's a cliff. Just kidding.